Hello there Pixel Pushers, Sadiq Hussain here from the Pixel Pushers uh, channel and uh, we're going to do a quick creative exercise which is something everybody faces at some point which is how to replace a, a, a boring grey sky with a more vibrant and more dramatic sky and just going to show you the quick technique, it's fairly straightforward essentially we want to drop a different sky behind this sky the, the, these rocks um, uh, in the, the horizon line and first of all you need to select the horizon line duplicate the foreground and make a, um, a duplicate layer on it and then bring in a sky photograph either from stock photography from one of the stock sites uh, within affinity photo which is what i'm going to do here today or of course i would recommend uh, what you do is that if you're a keen photographer is to just get out there and in all weathers all uh, seasons and take some um, stock photography of some wonderful skies that we have in britain and of course uh, you get that in most places in the world as long as it's not a boring sky take a photograph of it and a quick tip on that um, is that don't point the camera directly up into the sky because you won't really get the perspective with regards to where the light is in the clouds and so on so you want to tilt the camera so it's you still get a slither of the um of the um, horizon line uh, of the foreground at the bottom of your picture uh, not quite as much as this obviously but it's predominantly sky and then we can clip uh, uh, take that and put it uh, behind uh, an image where we need it and keep a folder with just sky photography uh, of when you need it rather than thinking oh i need a, a fresh sky in here i better go out and take a photograph so do that as you go along okay so first of all what we need to do is to select this so i'm going to use the selection brush you know it's my um, tried and tested method it works really well so just increase the size of your brush you don't want it to be ultra accurate at this stage but you will need to fine tune it as we before we actually set don't worry about the, the foreground down here because i can show you another neat way of doing that you see it hasn't selected that gap in between so we want to add to that so we're selecting the foreground so we want to subtract from that so click on subtract at the top left and that's subtracted that that's all done okay there just move along zoom into there we want to subtract that part as well reduce the size of your brush and it should select that as well i think that's done so that's actually selecting that quite well back to full screen with command and zero or control and zero on a pc now uh, we've done that selection all we need to do oh actually let's just have a look here has it selected that well no it hasn't so let me just redo this here so here we do need to fine tune that so if we go to refine and we just do the matte refining that's better because little plants like this grasses uh, can make a big difference to selling the the effect okay it's only needed on those three or four ferns okay that's that done we click uh, we want to put that as a copy as a new layer click apply you'll see what, what what's happened soon as uh, it's done okay you can see there we've now got a copy of it on a new layer above directly on top of it and that's exactly what we want to do so now we want to go to the stock photography and pick an image i've already typed in sky as you can see but if you you know you just type in sky or sky photography or dramatic skies or anything like that let, let, let's have this one instead I, I used the other one earlier but we'll do use this one okay so now click on the move tool because what we want to do is to increase the size of this to fit this image 
make it slightly bigger than the canvas that you're working with because then there's no chance of it not quite uh, covering the area that you want to okay so you say we want to cover it to about there we can move that later if we want to now all we do is go back to the layers palette because the sky has been placed as a top layer you want to move that sky in between the other two layers in between the copy of the foreground and the actual foreground now, as you drag that layer in you can now see don't worry about this bit here we'll we'll address that in a moment you can see that the sky is now dropped behind what we cut out earlier okay and if at this stage what we can do we still got the sky layer selected we can still move that as long as you're on the move tool on the top left we can still move that to position it and this is why having it slightly bigger does help because you can position it exactly where you want it what works dramatically for you let's say we it works because we I want to have the whole of this cloud here for example I might want it about there okay that's done all we need to do now is to make sure that we erase out these pixels here okay so as long as we select this layer go to the eraser tool and when we click on erase what we're doing is we're erasing part of that cloud layer that we inserted that we don't need by erasing that out it reveals the foreground underneath because we've got a foreground underneath so if you now look at this sky layer on its own you can see we've actually erased out the bit that we don't need it's better to erase it afterwards than try and find a sky that fits exactly or to erase it beforehand and um, yes we would need to do a bit more blending so that you get some reflected blue light on some of the rocks um, to make it really well but that's more of a compositing tutorial which we will be getting to in due course but I just wanted to quickly show you how to drop in a new background a new sky um, uh, a new location uh, to combine it with a foreground object okay thanks for watching and hope you found that useful and like I said before, please leave us some um, comments and some thoughts what your uh, preferences are for subjects going forward on Affinity Photo, what you struggle with, what you would like to explore and learn. Uh, and also any of the tools that you're not too sure about how to use them, we can cover those as well. Okay, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.